There is little question that region has some influence. Things I wish to discuss with you. When you have time. I have something I wanted to say. But I confess I am afraid of how you will react. You seem very sure of that. I am less so. You told me that you believe in going it alone, as you put it. But we have traveled together for a while now. I feel I must honor that time with the truth. The little I have spoken of my history has been nothing but truth. I worked with smugglers. I have caused my share of pain and suffering. What I have left out until now is that all of that was done on behalf of House Varun. My people. My family. I am not joking. I was born in the great city of Dazra and raised with the teachings of Jinan Varun. I underwent the rite of Krijar when I came of age. I am of the promised, those who know the truth of the Great Serpent and his inevitable return. Thank you. I doubt many would see it that way. There is a reason I am only just revealing this now. Several years ago, I intercepted requests from Constellation to access Varun's space, speaking only of exploration. I was sent to infiltrate Constellation, posing as a former smuggler looking for a new purpose in life. I withheld certain information, but everything I told Vladimir was and is true. It seemed to be enough. A short time. Several weeks after I arrived, I attempted to access secure records within Constellation's archives. Vladimir and Sarah were waiting for me. I admit that stings a bit, but yes. I was horrified. My failure would be reported to the High Council, and the penalty would be severe. The history of Constellation, where expeditions are sent, data on star systems House Varun has not explored, some information on their members and goals. As you have seen, there is relatively little that would be considered classified. Yes, she is. I cannot imagine anyone else in her position doing the same. You and I have spent so much time together it has been increasingly difficult to keep this from you. And I am sorry for that. Telling you this violates so many of the orders I was given. But it was the right thing to do. I can feel that. You have no idea what a relief that is. Thank you for trusting me. Welcome to Ryujin Tower. 
the beating heart of Ryujin Industries. I'm Jupiter, the tower's secretary. Can I help you with something? Yes, may you, uh, could you please guide me to your Uranus? Jupiter? We're the largest corporation in the Free Star Collective. We deal in everything from refreshments to starships. <laughs> oh, we're best known for our NeuroAmp technology. If you're curious about it, we have a selection on display at the Ryujin store near the back of the lobby. Is there anything else I can help you with? The public can visit our Tayo, Tranquility, and Drone Sales offices upstairs. All are worth visiting. The tower also serves as Ryujin's corporate headquarters, and is home to our research and development team. But unfortunately, those areas are restricted. Wonderful! It's always nice to meet a potential co-worker. Uh, Ms. Salzo will be conducting your interview today. You'll find her office upstairs. You'll find Ms. Salzo's office on the operations floor. Just take the elevator at the back of the lobby. And don't forget to check out the Ryujin Industry Store in the back of the lobby before you leave. No visit to Ryujin Tower is complete without a look at our patented NeuroAmp technology after all. Hey, thanks for stopping by. The name's Ken. Let me know if you have any questions. I know these weapons like the back of my hand. Yeah, this place really looks like a cyberpunk style place. Everything clean, neon, paint, and all that. I can't say I'm surprised. You have the look of someone with a steady hand and a good eye. If you've never tried an Arboron firearm, I highly recommend them. They fire more smoothly than Laredo weapons, and they're not as bulky as Combatex models. You can't go wrong. What brings you to Ryujin Tower today? Espionage. Oh, good luck. Hopefully they'll hire you, and we can stop listening to this non-stop audio ad. Well, I'd better be. I'm a Free Star Navy vet. Firearm expertise comes with the territory. I saw more than my share of action with a gun in my hand. Those days are behind me, though. Now I prefer to stay behind the counter and let other people do the gunslinging. All oh, right, there is another major mission uh, in a uh, Free Star Collective system. Part of the... What was it? First Cavalry, which is... The branch of the UC, equivalent of the UC military, Navy, for Research Collective. Absolutely. We're open for business. So you'll we have Electromax. I have a lot of weapons. You wanna buy my goodies? and ran out of money Yuri shi 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 Give me your money So fast Bye now. to Ryujin Industries. Can I help you? Um, maybe. You must
must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? Yep. So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. And hopefully I have some answers. Oh, wow. You're serious? Well, Ryujin is the tech industry leader in the settled systems, mostly known for neuroamps, which exploded on the scene about 15 years ago. Other than that, our products include operating systems, security, various quality of life improvements for the home. We're like a full package. If you really want more info, I'd recommend reading up at one of the kiosks. They've got this company's entire history listed. At least the history they want you to know. So you are the people responsible for that messed up computer interfaces, huh? The ones that look like a colored version of MS DOS. Imogene Salzo is my idol. She's ruthless, but still knows how to behave around everyday people if you know what I mean. She's probably next in line to take over for Ularu Chen, head of operations here, which would be a godsend considering Chen has no filter and loves to speak her mind. No one loves brutal honesty that much. I do. I love brutal, direct, honest people. I really do. Good. Best not keep Imogene waiting too long. And the offer still stands if you need someone to show you the way. Uh, are you gonna hold my hand? If yes, then yes, I need your help. If not, I can lock. Bye. Okay. Back, I see. Great. Well, good luck then. Jeez. Let's keep oh. I suspect that if I were confined to life in an office like this, someone would end up being stabbed. The new Atlantis Free Star Embassy. That'd be a good way to gather intel. Maybe calm down. <laughs> I wonder if these are Chinese corps or Japanese. Chen is Chinese, Just I think. For it, though. As usual. I'm not sure. I hope you're more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. I am more than. Make sure they understand that in the end, they need you more than you need them. I sure hope they need you. Don't mind me, I'm just the, the monster. I'm just showing what I can do. Lady. I'm sorry, that was so unprofessional. Just waiting on you. What should I do? Seriously? In this porter party? All right. Just to get a few things straight here. I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart, Yuko, is indisposed at the moment. So, here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? Honestly, I don't know. I'll be sure to let our marketing team know their phrases are catching on. But I hope that's your sense of humor showing. Not to say we don't have our share of self-important attitudes here. In fact, you'd fit right in where some are concerned. But 
Moving on. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Um, because I'm a Starborn. Hmm. Something tells me you aren't joking. I like to think I'm a pretty good judge of character. Natural leadership is a hard quality to find, so be sure to use it to your advantage. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? The boss? You've got some tough competition ahead of you then. Better get those leadership skills ready. Uh, so look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. Just like On a that. probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. You're joking, right? You're sending me to get coffee? Woman, do you know who I am? Andrea, should I show them who I am? Okay, fine. Let's go. There's always work to be done. Pace yourself, but make it a fast one. Who the hell are you? You're interrupting me. Is this time accounted for? Uh... I will take that as a no. It's not accounted for. If time is money, then suffice to say Ms. Serrano would not be pleased with such a frivolous expenditure. Yeah. She might disagree, but fine. Let's leave her out of it. And since you clearly have bandwidth to spare, maybe you can help me clean up a, um, minor indiscretion. Honestly, I am extremely short on bandwidth. I was telling my friends who are watching you right now, your ugly mug, that I am in the red zone when it comes to bandwidth. So, yes, that's that. Good. Let me give you some background. Recently, I've been assisting the impoverished in both Ebside and the Underbelly. I pay for the occasional meal, clinic visit, or comfort. But I may have lost a slate in the process. I need you to locate and retrieve it for me. No. It's not a matter of trust, but one of time. I have little to spare. You do not. Are you kidding me? Then we have an agreement. Good. Go to the other. Discarded items are her specialty. So, she may have come across the slate herself. If you can manage to find it, bring it back to me. And I will pay you for the time. Perhaps I can best explain with an analogy. There is an aquatic species on Voli Epsilon, which, by cruel irony or test of metal, hatches on dry land. Only one in 10,000 make it to adulthood. Most are eaten, some simply die in the crawl to the ocean. Meanwhile, there is a similar species that is born in the water itself. They never make this journey and thus never know its hardship. Which begs the question, is that fair? <sighs> I suppose I should just speak plain. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, and I am not what you'd call a bleeding heart. He Moreover, I find the underbelly filthy and unsanitary. But I also believe in equity. I am well aware 
as my life came with a head start. So I try my best to balance the equation and bring the hatchlings to the water. Ah, think what you will. But I don't have to approve of the notion. But as much as I dislike the underbelly, I will say this. It is a welcome change of pace. When you spend all day keeping secrets, a burden is placed on one's conscience. The time I spend volunteering sheds some of that weight. So you're doing some good deeds to wash off your sins? But you're gone. Contractually, yes, but I'd rather avoid the embarrassment. Normally I do a good job of setting boundaries between work and life. This incident is... an exception. As you were. Go away. Come on, and then before I shoot. Sending me to get coffee for them. This is crazy coffee. Seriously, I'm a starboard. If Hunter could see me now, he would laugh for eternity. Oh uh, dear, oh dear. Terra Brew. Oh, the Reugen Order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promote? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Nobody? What you've been doing for years, I'm gonna do in four minutes. <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were gonna get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Well, you're believe me, it's either you or me! I believe you have grossly misunderstood the situation. If you put the gun down, perhaps we can come to an understanding. No, let him shoot. You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then just walk away! Even worse, I got fired! <laughs> they don't let that kind of knowledge run around in the head of disgruntled employees. It's just a matter of time before they send you after me. So, I'm taking matters into my own hands! You wanna talk? <laughs> oh, 
I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? And I think you know where this is headed. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't have enough bullets in that gun. Do I get that one? Nobody wants that. Look, at some point, Ular really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. Hmm. Let's just say, Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's going to see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again, okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Our time does come. I expect you to keep your word. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Tomo had been Ryujin's errand boy for some time now. Lots of ambition. Dying to get up that food chain, if you know what I mean. He always seemed really nice, so a stunt like that? <laughs> I never saw it coming. Ryujin has connections everywhere. Even Benjamin Bayou. You know, the very man that runs Neon? They're practically untouchable around here. Just getting in with them, you're setting yourself up for life. Well, provided you don't get fired first, of course. Are you serious? That's the most excitement I've had in months. <laughs> I feel like I should be thanking you. Yeah, we should smile. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Personal. Huh. I suppose that's one way to put it. I know that Tomo Higashi, an ex-employee of ours, accosted you at the Terra Brew, and before you get any ideas, no, the barista didn't sell you out. Ryujin has enough connections in Neon that an incident like this would never slip by. Deception aside, some of us are impressed by how you handled the situation and would like to try you out in a different role at the company. 
And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You were right to talk the situation through, rather than letting it escalate. Well, they do say it's healthy to have goals. So who am I to crush that with reality? I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. is wrong with my mouse again. The passcode. <laughs> I know all about your secrets now. Lady. Don't cause any trouble. Or what? needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? 
<laughs> yeah, that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. Good. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. Look, I'm standing right here. The only thing creepy here is your misinterpretation. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Good. Then we should get along just fine. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. <laughs> Very funny, but not untrue. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Well, there's a reason we're the number one tech corporation in the settled systems. If we were truly that bad at our core, I doubt we'd still be operational. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. 
but I stole your credentials already, so... Can I help you? No. I want your clothing, woman. Andresa, you will look in that suit. Supply chain disruption. What do you want to do for Sorry. the I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break. My desk listening to Cody eat with his mouth open. Right. You wanna see how short my temper is? This report isn't bad, but you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogene's a stickler for Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? It's anxiety inducing. I know Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. What is it? I think I found something. But it's sad. And I hope it stays that way. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, Let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. 
Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Star Collector Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Do you <laughs> I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? And dust. Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. I already took your security. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen... Ash. You don't have to take my entire load of alcohol back to New Atlantis. You know that, right? That's right. Every damn crate. Who sees me? All right, let's cut the crap. This is because I refuse to pay Bayou's ridiculous tariff on my goods, right? Yes, that yeah, is all. Rules, lady. Very well. Take your junk, load it back on your ship, and get the hell out of here. If I don't deliver these goods, I'm going to lose thousands on this job. Not my problem. Get moving. Stop letting me. You sure you belong here? 
You're making things harder for yourself. Oh, come on. Stupid game. I hate you. We are being super overzealous with plastic production in this godforsaken planet. If I don't deliver these goods, I'm going to lose thousands on this job. Not my problem. Better get moving. Uh... Neon security, stop! I will not aid you Hold in this. Hold it right there. You're under arrest. How could you do that? I just did. Seventy-seven percent. I mean, what are the odds that you fall into that tiny thirteen percent? If I don't deliver these goods, I'm going to lose thousands on this job. Not my uh, problem. Yeah. Get moving. Go away. Neon security, get back here. You're under arrest. We got a live one. You see security. Surrender immediately. Seriously, you're gonna put me on the thirty percent? That's so unfair. If I don't deliver these goods, I'm going to lose thousands on this job. Not my problem. Better get moving. Maybe it's Hold it right there. It. You're under arrest. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of snake. Original Hey there. Got that key card for me? No. I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. We'll soon find out, won't we? This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astro Lounge here in Neon. I suspect a great many things could occur in the Astro Lounge without anyone taking notice. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. 
Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. And we'd like to delay that, if we can. It's already been taken care of. All you need to worry about is the job at hand. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive. It runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she's drawn to innovation and quality. She's considered it, but she's next in line to be CEO over at Quantum. If she came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are, Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. Infinity has struggled with leadership and turnover for a long time now. Lucas Drexler is probably the fifth CEO they've had in the past few years. Plus, it's hard to keep good employees when much better corporations who will pay more are out there. They've launched several, but none survive long. Nothing that would be as big as neuroamps or grav drives. That's why they've taken to just following whatever trends companies like Ryujin set. If they can't make money off ingenuity, they can certainly sell someone a cheaper version of a more expensive product they may want. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Quantum Synergies is the top name in ship OS. Their reputation has allowed them to keep the best engineers on their payroll. We can't deny that working with them would be beneficial for us, and Arthur is our best bet in making that happen. Besides, an open collaboration gives us easier access to information we'd otherwise have to find a more clever means of discovering. We keep an extremely close eye on our competition. 
Thanks to operatives like you, that information is almost always at our disposal. Sounds like you're ready, then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers, though. Sometimes bullet-pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? Just don't let that confidence give you a false sense of security. And remember, no incidents. the time I wish to speak to you. Hello. It has been a relief to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Thank you. That means a great deal to me. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely. And over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. Yes. I have found that to be true. It was, and is, still a surprise. You must understand. I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. For they are lost, their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. It 
It's not something I have much experience with. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force. Seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. I have no doubt they were resourceful. Still, how badly were their lives damaged by that moment? In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. How little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone to be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. Thank you. That is... I'm sorry, I am not used to someone being so considerate on my behalf. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom. and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell me, you don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons why. Sounds like a bad marriage. <laughs> and I can only afford one of those. Look, it was nice meeting you. And I quite enjoyed our little talk. But it sounds like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around. And maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Do I really have to? Dressed to impress. Here on business, or just out to escape? Ah, same here. Nothing like a business trip paid in full, especially when there's good downtime.
quantum synergies. I assume you have heard of us. It is nice to see you are familiar with our business. Ryujin Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Though I find your statement insulting, your assumption is correct. My colleagues have put profit above quality against my advice. But perhaps I should push back more. A surprising conversation. And one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So, it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Can you get that done? I hope you have some good news for me. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. It is good that our restraint is appreciated. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. 
At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. I'm sure you do. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. And good luck. I'm not here to be nice. I know this entire thing is an espionage, dirty business and all that. I'm practically moving one dirty stuff from one company to another and... I love the corpse that's evil. Rough. Last time I was involved with the makeup corp, I... Um, did it right. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how the company feels about that. I don't want to hear any complaints. Yes? Keep an eye on your valuables. A fair amount of business runs through Hope Town, and from what I understand, most of it is legal. I have never liked Hope Tech ships, though I suppose that is hardly the point of them. How can I direct you? Yes, you can 
see how stupid it gets after a while. No, really. 